Hello everybody and welcome to the Lavinia Stamps Halaganza. I hope you're having fun and enjoying all the activities that are being shared online and in the store if you're lucky enough to manage to get there. Today I'd like to share this sample with you using some of the new stamps from the new collection which is called Winter Whispers. For this card you will need the following stamps. So you'll need the feather stamp, the leaf bouquet, star, the new fairy, and the small set of snowflakes. So they're the, they're the stamps that we're going to be using. I'll share the colours along with, with you as we go. First of all, I'm going to start with the background. So I've got a piece of multifarious card, which is A5 size. I've just cut an A4 in half and I've got some paper on my mat because I'm going to use the new Lavinia Dinkles in sea blue. So I'm just going to spray my card with a little bit of water, not too much. And then on my card, I had this part here, which I liked behind her Chinese lantern. So I'm going to aim to get that sort of effect in the middle of my card. I will be cutting my card down, so the card will be a bit smaller. So I'm going to put some sea, sea blue there. And then just some little sprinkles around. Going to aim to get a nice feathery effect from that one there. I'm not going to use this background on this card. I've already got one that I done earlier because it's nice and dry. But that's that's just how we do our background, and then I just let it dry. So that's all I need for my background. And the next thing I'm going to do is start stamping. So I've got my background here that is already dry and I'm going to get my, my stamp of star so here she is and I'm just going to place her over that area that I said I wanted the feathering to come out from her Chinese lantern I'm going to emboss the star with clear embossing powder and I'm using Versafine Claire Twilight to stamp her in. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp. It's a beautiful stamp. She's so pretty. I love her dress as well. She just looks like she's got, you know, beads hanging off or icicles hanging off her skirt. And then just to add a little bit more pressure, I've got my little soft cuddly toy that keeps me company in my craft room. And there we go. First impression. And then I'm going to emboss with clear embossing powder. And this is well wow clear embossing powder. I'm hoping it's clear, aren't I? I always think they look white. I get a bit of panicky. I know it says clear on the label, but because my card is dry, I didn't really need to use my powder puff. So that's okay. Get my 
heat gun. I'll fast forward this bit on the video so you don't get to have to listen to the heat gun. And there we go, it's all nice and embossed. Right, the next thing I stamped was my feather. So I'm lining up my feather with Star's feet. So that's perfect. And once I've got this on the mat, I'll make sure my feather is straight. Once again, we're going to emboss with twilight. area there there was a little bit of fluff on that bit there there we go that's okay I will clean my stamps later And that's the first part of our stamping done. And as you can see, it's looking quite pretty already. The next thing I'm going to do is our ground area. And I'm using the acetate um, mask that hasn't got much um, pattern on the top. And it comes from the Lavinia stamps. Acetate heels and masks. I'm going to turn the card over and I'm just going to line, line up her feet, but I'm going a little bit above the tree. And I'm using my Makeup brush that I use for all my blue. Now I'm not, hopefully, not going to have to put ink on here because usually there's enough on it. Okay, so there's our grounded tree and our grounded fairy. Just going to put a little bit more there, just lightly in the background. There we go. Right, so the next thing to do is we're going to stamp our snowflakes. Now, I'm going to do them a little bit darker this time because I've got one, two, three, four, five, because I've done them in very pale blue. They do show up, 
but I'd like them to show up a little bit more. So I'm going to do them in a little bit darker. For these, I used Archival Ink and I used Paradise Teal originally, but this time I think I might use Faded Jeans in Archival for my snowflakes. And I'm going to use my round acrylic block. So I use some of these to um, use as a guideline for just for them to have something in the background of them. So I use that one and I use that one. So we'll start with we'll start with this one in the center. Now for this, I do like to use the back of my stamping platform. Pick up my snowflake. I hope I'm still in shot. Sometimes if you tap too hard, like I've just done, you get a blob. Because these are, this is a new, a new ink, it's quite juicy, so I've got to remember to tap gently, that's better. So I'm going to do this one in the centre there. I'm just going to let the ink soak into my multifarious card. Um, there we go. So they stamp beautiful. That one there. And I'm going to use this one. I think I'll use it up there. Oops. Yeah. And then. Okay. Tap in lightly. Very lightly because it's a juicy ink pad. left that one for a bit longer and I will not make that mistake again I'm going to bring one down here and hold it in place pressing lightly not too hard and that's better. And then I'm going to do that same one just down here. This is number four. Just make sure I do odd numbers. And go back to this one. They're all very pretty, very pretty snowflake stamps. I will be taking off some of the top of the card as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. I think I'll do two more. I'll do just a little partial one coming in here.
Make sure it's even. I'm going to put this one here because not much of that will show because I'll be trimming off most of the top of that. So there we go, that's our snowflakes done. The last thing I did was. I stamped on the new bouquet, leaf bouquet um, stamp. I'm going to use, um, going to use my living year stamps. I have to put it on a little bit of an angle because it will go straight. Let's have a look. Oh, it will go on fully straight. That's it. And this is going to be our decoration coming down from the top. And for this one, I'm going to use something that stands out. I'm going to use Mermaid Lagoon. So I'm going to aim to keep it around sort of like just above the these two stamped images here i hope you like the new um release they really are beautiful two fairies i think they're absolutely gorgeous i like it all but i think the two fairies are absolutely gorgeous i haven't inked up the whole stamp piece of paper on now so I'm going to come down just past well just past my feather and I'm just going to make sure that's stamped leave it soak into the card a little bit and lift and there we go it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be I prefer a bit darker. I'll have that as a second generation and I'll use a darker ink. I use a darker ink for my... Let's see how dark this one comes out. Yeah, that's better. So I'm gently tapping my stamp, making sure I'm in the picture. And they're going to come down here.
Right, and that is our stamping done. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim my cord. So I'm going to trim my cord. this one how much do we need to okay this one to Two, three, four, five, six. He chopped a whole snowflake off. I was going to put a little bit of snowflake there, so I've got my seven. Okay. There we go. So I'm using my blue brush go around my edges and I'm going to use oops, prize ribbon archival ink okay my God on my hands so I need a piece of kitchen roll Oops. And I'm just going to go around the edge of my card that's our edging done with our card and as you can see it brings your eye more into the center of the card so the final thing we're going to do is we're going to get our silver silver pen this is made by uniball signal and it's a silver glitter pen and what i did was i just highlighted some parts of the tree so I highlighted the center part so that you could see hope you can see that and then I I done all the circles as well so there's quite a few circles on the tree So I just randomly picked a few other areas to sort of balance it out a little bit with the other part of the card. So 
So there we go. So that's the tree done. And then I've done all of the circles and her hair and her hat of star. So we'll start with her hat. That's her hat. Maybe there are little bubbles on the end. And I also did the inside, the inside of the Chinese lantern. As you can see, so it's coming together. I hope you can see that on the video. I hope you can see that on the video. She's absolutely gorgeous, isn't she? And now I just put a snow, a silver dot in the front of all the snowflakes. In the centre, sorry, not in the front. In the centre of the snowflakes. There we go. And that's our card finished. And as you can see, I just mounted it up. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Take care. Enjoy the Halaganza. And I look forward to seeing you soon. And I look forward to seeing all your fantastic um, creations with the new stamps. And I hope you enjoy them all. And good luck with all the prize draws and everything else. And it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Bye.